What is going on guys, it's actually here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Now, I'm going to just get straight into this. I'm going to get straight into this, no messing about. I was absolutely appalled by today's performance. I really was. Now, you may feel that that's a bit harsh. And perhaps it is. But I'm just going to tell it like it is. It was not good enough today. It wasn't. We had a couple of chances here and, here and there. Which... A tra the Traore one in the second half we definitely should have taken. While the score was still 1-0. But... What were we doing out there today? What were we doing? Especially for the second goal. Late on. Which... Up until then, we in the second half, we put on a lot of pressure on them. Not exactly in, in the way of chances, but, you know, a goal might have been coming. It might have been scrappy, but maybe we could have got a goal here or there. But we weren't good enough. We didn't put apply enough pressure, and we were punished. We were poor defensively. Many passes today went astray. And it's it's massively contra contrary to the last three games. The last three games we've been excellent. No goals conceded, you know, clean sheets, excellent defensive displays, and attacking and attacking. We were um, we've been flawless. But what was this? What was this? An incredible opportunity going into the game. We were two points off a Champions League place. Technically, if you don't count, if, if, if you think, well, if, if Man City do get their, their ban overturned, which maybe they will because they got a lot of money, then they were, we were effectively two points off a Champions League place. Or, if Man City don't get their ban overturned, we were level on points with a Champions League place on 52 points. You see, the opportunity was there. The opportunity was there. And we started the game brightly. We had a, In the first 30 seconds, Traore was, was at it. And we nearly went in front. But it's those fine margins. It's those fine margins that define, define seasons. And now we've got, we've got to rely on results. Man United have had an excellent win today. 5-2 over Bournemouth, who look like they're going for, for, heading for the Champions, Championship along with Norwich. Who also lost today. And also Leicester as well. We were in touching distance with them. We were three points off them going into the game. So three points off third. A massive opportunity. Against a struggling Arsenal side this season. With a lot of young players. And we didn't take it. And these games. These games. We've only got five games left now. Of this season. Those are the fine margins. That that separate Europa League from the Champions League. And, you know, with Europa League, we would have been expected to maybe just finish comfortably mid-table this season. But the fact that we've done so well this season means that, you know, we're expected to do well. We're expected to, to carry on the momentum. And especially from the past three games where we won 2-0 at West Ham. Excellent performance. We won one 0 at home to Bournemouth. We ground that result. Bournemouth were quite, I'd say, quite defensive on um, in, in that game, but we, we we got a result and we deserved it in the end overall. And the same with the the Villa game away. We ground out a result against another um, team threatened against relegation. But you you would you would have thought, great Arsenal. They're 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 not like their former selves. They've got a lot of youngsters. To be fair to them, a couple of them are quite talented, and one of them did score today, Bakayo Saka. But that's that, that that that's no excuse. We've just won our last three games. We should be really high on momentum going into this one. Which Arsenal they won two another way at Southampton, but though their those two goals, their first one, if it wasn't for the goalkeeper completely losing his concentration, they wouldn't have scored. Otherwise, and their second goal, which came quite late on, like in this game, it was a, a ricochet that felt that that that, that uh, well, it was palmed out by the keeper, and it was it fell kindly to an Arsenal man to to tap it over two 0 And I've got to say, 
The first goal was okay. It, it, it was a decent goal. I'll give them that. But we could have done better. It was a bit of a bit unlucky. In the first half, they had a couple of chances. But the chances that fell to them, they were quite fortunate. Because there, there are ricochets off, off Wolves men. And they were quite fortunate to create the chances, as I say. And in the first half, I would it would have been a different game, maybe. Possibly it would have been a different game. If we went in at half-time, nil-nil. Nil nil level pegging, it would have reflected the first half, and maybe it would have been a different game going into the second half, because Arsenal wouldn't have had that momentum to and and a, a lead to hold on to in the second half. But yeah, it's it, it's a brilliant goal, and we go in half time one nil down. Come out in the second half, we look a lot brighter, a lot sharper, and we're putting Arsenal under pressure in the early stages of the second half, especially Adama Traore, who completely left. Class and act for dead, and well, it's, it's crossing was still good today. That was probably one of the few highlights for me today. Adamatreo's crossing is still in a, in, a, in a poor performance. It still was, uh, I guess, quite decent. But I'm gonna get straight into the second goal. It's quite late on. We're putting a lot of pressure on on, on them in the second half. A lot of sustained pressure. Not really much in the way of chances. Arsenal was sitting deep, trying to protect their one 0 lead that they had. But we just couldn't break him down. And we were punished for that in the late on. And our defence was all over the place. It could have been 3-0. Right, right after the 2-0. Which, I mean, it was poor defensively. Cody, it was similar to the Tammy Abraham goal that, he, that we conceded. That, that was involved Cody earlier in the season where we lost 5-2. Cody just got turned by a Lacazette who come on as a second half sub. And it was a good finish. And that was pretty much game over. It could have been even worse. About a minute later. We were all over the place defensively. And it was an easy pass. They were in loads of space. I'm not sure who it was. It might have been like I say again, you know. But we were absolutely all over the place. We completely lost it by that point, And we could have been 3-0 down. And, I mean, we probably deserved to be 3-0 down. Because, yes, we had an off day today. We had an off day. It was a poor performance. But considering, given the stage in the season with only five games remaining, and considering how well we've done up until this point, the other three, 33 games of the season, where before this game we've only lost six games. Six games out of 32. And we've, we've both drawn 13 and won 13. We've done really well. You know, given that in context, we're unbeaten in 26 of our 32 games. We've we've done incredibly well, and it's just it's not reflective. It's not reflective of what we've been able to do this season, and we've been we, we've been massively rumbled, massively rumbled today. And we we're in, we've got a massive game away at Sheffield United on Wednesday, an absolutely massive game. We've got to win that. Sheffield United have beaten Spurs. That was a good performance, but you know. They lost 3-0 to Newcastle and Man United in the space of about a week. And, you know, we've got to beat them. We've got to beat them. This It's as simple as that. Because we've done so well and we can't let it slip, like, it, we can't let it slip away now. But to, compl- to conclude, um, I'm utterly disappointed in the performance we put in today. It was not good enough at all. Not good enough, and we we could have performed so much better. And I, I don't even I, I don't get why I, I don't get why Nuno didn't start him and Jota up front as a front two. Like we won the last three games as a front three with him and Jota and Traore. Why did we do that? Why did we change a winning formula? That is that is the main thing. One of the main things I don't get for today. Why did we change a winning formula? Um, if even if you're going to play a front two, why don't you play Jimenez and Jota? It just Jimenez and Traore is not a combination. It's not a synonymous combination this season. I have to say, we've got to step it up against Sheffield United because you can see what they did to Spurs on Thursday. They absolutely ripped through them. They can rip through any team on any given day. It's just what they've been doing this season. 
It's the kind of thing they can do. And we've got to be... We've got to be better. We've simply got to be better. And I hope for a better performance. Anyway. 2-0 defeat to Arsenal. Not good enough at all. We've got to be better. Hope. Well, I don't know why you would enjoy me ranting about losing to Arsenal. But, well... Smash the like button if you do agree with what, what with my opinion. And make sure to drop it in the comments if you don't. And see what, what you think about the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely disappointed. I'm absolutely gutted. Because we could have done a lot better. And we haven't. I'll see you on Wednesday with a reflection, a review of the Sheffield United game. Until then, goodbye guys.